name is Catherine Putnam Meadow, and I am a parish associate here at Los Angeles Presbyterian Church. And on behalf of this church, it is my privilege to say to all of you, welcome. We are so glad you are here. It's good to come together. And I know that Pride Week is full of lots of activity and hustle. Isn't it good that we can come together and experience community in a sanctuary, in a time of peace? We come together with the opportunity to give thanks for that, which gives us all life. At Wasatch, we have a motto, and I pray that we live into it. And it is that no matter who you are, where you are in your life, where you are on your journey of faith, you are welcome here, and you are loved. Let us begin. Baruch Adonai, Eloheinu Melech HaOlam, Shehech Yonu, Vekiyamanu, Vekiyamanu, Lazman Hazeb. Praise be God, who created the world who grants us life, and who sustains us, and who brings us to this very moment. Almighty God, to you all hearts are open, all desires known, and from you no secrets are hid. Cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by inspiration of your Holy Spirit that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your holy name. Through our Lord. Amen. Be ours a religion which, like sunshine, goes everywhere. Its temple all space. Its shrine the good heart. Its creed all truth its ritual works of love, its profession of faith, divine living. I'm April Love, and I'm the faculty advisor for the Salt Lake Bay Society, which is affiliated with the University of Utah. Hear ye the words of the goddess, she in the dust of whose feet are the hosts of heaven and whose body encircles the universe. I, who am the beauty of the green earth, the white moon among the stars, and the mystery of the waters calling unto thy soul, names beyond 10,000 do I have. I am the soul of nature who gives life to the universe. From me, all things proceed, and unto me, all things must return. Let there be beauty and strength, power and compassion, honor and humility, mirth and reverence within you as you seek me. For behold, I have been with thee from the beginning, and I am that which is attained at the end. From the charge of the star goddess by Ann Mora. Great Spirit of our ancestors, I raise my pipe to you, to your messengers, the four winds, and to the Mother Earth who provides us for your children. Give us the wisdom to teach our children to love, to respect, and to be kind to each other so that they may grow with peace in mind. Let us learn to share all the good things that you provide for us on this earth. Let us know peace, for as long as the moon shall rise, for as long as the river shall flow, for as long as the sun shall shine, for as long as the grass shall grow, let us know peace. Hello, I am Shereen K. Ali with uh, Muslims of Utah. And this is Brother Glenn. And we will start with um, the first uh, verse in the Quran. Um, first of all, it's my prayer at first. Bishlahti sabri wa sabri amri wa hlul uqdatan wa lisani yafqa al-qawli Allahumma la sahla illa ma ja'atahu sahla wa 
وانت سبحانك ترجع الحزم الصعبة إذا شئت سهلا. بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم، الحمد لله رب العالمين، الرحمن الرحيم. مالك يوم الدين، إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين، اهدنا الصراط المستقيم. صراط الذين أنعمت عليهم غير المغضوب عليهم ولا الضالين. آمين. Sister Shuri just read Fatima, the first chapter, per se, in the Holy Quran in Arabic. I'll do so in English for those of us that haven't yet learned Arabic. <laughs> Don't try to throw up on Arabic in the next slide. <laughs> in the name of Allah, most gracious, most merciful, praise to Allah, the cherisher and the sustainer of the worlds, most gracious, most merciful, master of the day of judgment. You do we worship, and your aid do we seek. Show us the straight way, the way of those on whom you have bestowed your grace, those of whose portion is not wrath, and who do not go astray. Uh, my name is Barry Kessler, and I represent Ertin uh, Tibetan Buddhist temple. May I become at all times, both now and forever, a protector for those without protection, a guide for those who have lost their way, a ship for those with oceans to cross, a bridge for those with rivers to cross, a sanctuary for those in danger, a lamp for those without a light, a place of refuge for those who lack shelter, and a servant to all in need. That's a quote by His Holiness, the 14th Dalai Lama. I'm Mahan Singh Khalsa. I'm with the Salt Lake Kundalini Yoga Association and also the Utah Sikh community. This is a quote from a spiritual teacher named Yogi Bhajan. Whatever we are, we are wonderful because we know to accept. We accept that God has created us, that the purpose of life is happiness, and that serving others is the main theme of humanity. So just, so, just as a rose's fragrance is so powerful that people want to smell it, so may our grace be so powerful that people will want to feel it. I'm Chris, uh, Reverend Christine Swintek of the Inner Light Center. O divine inner light, awaken, enlighten, transform us to live in unconditional love, serving our fellow humans and all that lives on earth. Divine source within, remind us with every breath we breathe, with every action we take, and with every word we speak, that we are one with all that is.
Many years ago, I had a very young friend who was like my brother to me. He and I grew up together. And through our friendship, as he got older, he was hesitant, and one day he admitted to me that he was gay. I asked him, and, he, and I asked him, why, why, why didn't you come and tell me earlier? Because he said, well, I didn't want to lose your friendship. I didn't want to lose your love. And as we went forward, and I got married, and we would talk about marriage, and we would talk about, he talked about one day whether he was going to be able to have that privilege as well. And when, when he got sick and passed away that last night, we also talked about marriage and family. So when December 20th came about, and that magical Monday, as I call it, happened, when all people there, we had hundreds and thousands of people gathered, and you just had to feel that energy. And it was a long day. It was a happy day. It was an exhausting day. But when it was done, and I finally started to go home into the, into that dark December evening, I had to take an accounting of what happened. And when I came back at home, I sat down and I wrote this, and I want to share this with you. Because love does equal love. And when Russ asked me, where was the quality in 2013? This is what I wrote. It was called Today, remembering December 20th. Today I saw a mother holding her child's hand in anticipation of an inching closer to the front of the line, trying not to betray the emotion swelling up in her. Today I saw an elderly couple holding hands while one summoned the physical strength attached to an oxygen tank and her partner tended to her with hopeful affection as they waited in line. Today I saw two young people asleep in a long meandering line, dreaming at the end of the rainbow, just 300 yards away. Today I saw a group of friends huddled together in support of their friends, who never believed such a day was possible for them. Today I saw families with a certain hopeful pride. I saw parents come to support their children. Siblings come to support their brothers and sisters. Children come to support their parents and to proclaim both of them for the first time openly. Today, I saw ordinary, ordinary, unexceptional, average, normal people in love. Today, I saw professionals, blue collar, white collar, teachers, engineers, domestics, artists, unemployed, students, retired people using their civil rights. Today, I saw young and old, flamboyant and reserved, smiling and tired, hopeful and hoping, White, black, Asian, female, male, tattooed, conservative, outstandingly dressed, liberal, religious, loud, gleeful, quiet, thin, rotund, jubilant diversity of humanity, standing in a line to claim the dignity they always possessed but were denied by a human obstruction of fear, hate, and purpose misunderstanding. Today, I saw the compassion of strangers, the kindness of parents, joy of friends, the love of partners, the generosity of volunteers, the relentless work of civil servants, the focus of the committed, the tenacity of the deprived, the courage of the silent, the presence of the hidden, and the voice of the quiet, and the roar of the demure. Today, I saw the world witnessed the humanity, observed the dignity, appreciated the commitment, was humbled by the love that was driving this moment. Today I saw people happy, people hopeful, people proud, people exercising their rights. Today I just saw love. Today I saw the value of marriage as an institution, the importance of it, the honor of it, the mystery of it, the emotion of it, the culture of it, the sanctity of it, the reverence of it, the unutterable necessity of it to complete the fullness of life. Today I saw America's past touched by America's future. Today I saw history. 
Today was a good day. Tomorrow will be a good day too. This is God. This is love. Peace does equal love, and love does equal love. Peace, compassion, and much love to all of you. Thank you. My name is Robin Linkhart, Community of Christ, President of Seventy. Here we gather around one common principle, love. Most faiths weave a common golden thread into the fabric of their beliefs. Treat others as you want to be treated. In my faith, the words are, love your neighbor as yourself. Every single generation of faith must struggle with this question. What does it mean to live the way of love in this time and place? Love constantly calls us to authenticity as layer after layer we peel away that which locks the human heart from loving to its full capacity. It is arduous and painful, but the fruit is sweet, and along the way, humanity is transformed. Love called community of Christ to look ourselves square in the face and ask, how long will you continue to shut out LGBT sisters and brothers from ordination and marriage? And so we began our pilgrimage toward possible change. We studied, shared, listened, prayed, discerned, and searched our souls. With the goal of holy indifference, we set aside personal agendas, held hands, and listened intently to the voices of God and neighbor. Day by day we journeyed, believing that God would reveal the way. On the appointed day in 2013, we sat in the womb of the auditorium chamber and began the labor to discover our future together. Art and nature fused in a grove of trees, formed to focus worship and remember our restoration heritage. Leaves shimmered in the balcony and roots vined across the stage. Voices and instruments, all sizes and shapes, harmonized sweet melodies of love. Ministers of blessing gently moved among us like angels, squeezing hands, whispering prayers, holding hearts. One by one, we shared diverse opinions for all to hear, clinging to one another in hope. <coughs> the Spirit breathed. In the face of uncertainty, we humbly received the Spirit's bond of peace, unity in diversity. On that day, something brand new was born. Love equals love. My friends, love is a long, long journey in the same direction. And yes, God delights when we are creators of justice and joy, compassion and peace. May it be so.